Tunisian policemen, special intervention units, and National Guard agents staged a rally in Al Qasba area in the capital city Tunis. The protesters denounced the climate of insecurity and demanded better working conditions to face up to the rising violence across the country. The protesters chanted slogans stressing the need for the criminalization of acts of violence on the police. Police officers have come from the south and northwest of Tunisia to show their anger. They are calling on the government and the assembly to criminalize any attacks or aggressions on the agents of the interior ministry. We call on the government and the assembly to criminalize verbal and physical aggressions on policemen. We are trying to do our difficult job, but we won't be able to ensure security in these conditions. New recruits and high-ranking officers stood together to show their solidarity. To many officers, the situation won't be improved before restoring the image of the security forces that was tarnished after the revolution. Hundreds of police officers have been aggressed by criminals. Even ordinary citizens don't respect policemen. We can't accept this situation. Widows of deceased policemen attended the protest silently. Emil Jdei talked about her late husband, Lutfi, who was respected among his colleagues. The mother of four expressed her sorrow and demanded justice. My husband was defending his fellow citizens when he was savagely assassinated. I am still seeking justice. Many policemen died after the revolution. The authorities should not forget the brave men who risked their lives and left their families forever. For more than 50 years, the interior ministry had been criticized for serving the interests of the former ruling parties. However, notions of neutral police and nationalist security body have recently been adopted by thousands of policemen in Tunisia. Adnan Shawashi, Press TV, from Al-Qasba area in Tunis.